The biggest grossing album in the history of music. Has the enormous success changed your life? Well, I was speaking to one of my friends the other day, and as he was cleaning my shoes, I said, listen. <laughs> we often thought we were triplets. We have the same sense of humor. We have the same love of the same kind of music. When you've got brothers singing, it's like an instrument that nobody else can buy. Brothers, in general, it's a very complicated thing. If we hadn't been brothers, we wouldn't have lasted half an hour. We've heard rumors that the group is splitting up. Would you like to verify those rumors? No. No. We all wanted individual recognition. All three of us did things to each other that I think we're all sorry for. I said, let's make an album in Miami. We had to adopt a new attitude and a new sound. I said, well, why don't we just take a bar out of Night Fever and see if we can make a loop out of it? We were breaking new ground. It was extraordinary. The fever thing happened, and that's when everything exploded. <laughs> I mean, that could very easily have just been a horn line. But instead, their voices were so sick, they were like, nah, we're going to sing it. They were on the first wave of global pop superstardom, if you want to call it that. They had the top five hits any given week. For those of us at the radio station, we're going to take hostages. How about the Bee Gees? When you become famous, you think everyone loves you and they're going to love you forever. That is not true. We really could not get on the radio, so the whole idea was to write for other people. It was just as important for us to have an artist singing one of our songs and being on the radio as it was for ourselves. Everything we set out to do, we did, against all odds. I can't honestly come to terms with the fact that they're not here anymore.